What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at some more MLB Price Picks props. If you played yesterday's, you made 5x. It was an easy 3 for 3 sweep. We had the over strikeouts on Dunning. We needed 5 strikeouts. He got us 7. We needed uh, 6 strikeouts from Evaldi. He got us 8. And we needed 5 strikeouts from Bass. And he also got us 8. So it wasn't much of a sweat. So hopefully he played it. Let's go ahead and get into today's. As always, hit the like button if you enjoy the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Got some props that I want to share with you guys the first one is going to be looking at the pitching outs and we're taking the over 18 outs on pablo lopez this one i do like a good amount because if you look at his game log uh, last start he got you six in course field which is very difficult to pitch in but he pitched excellent and he, the pitching the amount of pitches that he is throwing has been increasing like they let him throw close to 100 if he's pitching really well or if they you know, have a decent lead where you know, they don't need him to push him past seven. You know, he might get taken out at seven. But start before that, he went seven against Tampa. You know, had a poor start against Washington where it only threw three. But before that, another seven innings, another eight innings before that. And now he gets a good matchup here against the Giants. The Giants, if you look at the total here, this one has one of the lower totals on the slate. And you got some pretty good pitching options on both sides. So hopefully we kind of get like a, a, a pitching duel or something like that. It's in Miami, so it's a good ballpark. Both teams have a 3.3 total. So I really do like Pablo Lopez. On the season, he's pitched really well. And hopefully, like the worst case might be just go six, but we've seen him go seven. You know, he could get you close to 100 pitches, so that one I do like. And then I have a couple of no-run first inning props that we can look at. And you, know, you can use props.cash to help you make some of these. Just they have the records of each of the pitching pitchers that are going to be facing off so you can see that Severino's uh four and one in nerfies and then overall both pitchers combined um, we can see that so the Yankees one has like a 38 percent chance of hitting the no run first standing if we look at Jose Barrios and Bundy it has about a 61 percent overall record between the two pitchers is seven and three but one couple of these are really high that I think we can take a look at at first one is uh Mackenzie Gore against Aaron Ashby this one is in Milwaukee if you look at the total here it's also not a crazy high total. We have a 3.6 for the Padres and a 4.1 for the Brewers. And we got some left-handed pitchers going at it. And both pitchers give you a lot of strikeout stuff, so that could help you know, with the strikeouts in the first inning and maybe you know, just less chances of some balls getting into play or going out. So that's the first nerfy that I'm going to go ahead and put in is the Padres and the Brewers and both pitchers. Have pitched very well this season we saw Ashby get 12 K's in his last start in a very difficult matchup against uh in Wrigley with the wind blowing out like that had a high total and he just absolutely carved the Cubs up and then the second nerfy that I like is another one in a good ballpark and this one is uh the Chicago White Sox against the Tampa Bay Rays taking the under 0.5 runs if we look at the probability of this one it's also pretty high it's about a 72 percent chance uh, Cease against Rasmussen. You got two solid pitchers. Overall record is nine and one. Uh, so those are my two favorites taking the under on their not being a run in the first inning. Other ones that we could look to would be Pablo Lopez and his game. Just both, both teams have a three point three total. That's another one that we can, if you wanted to throw that one in here, that's also fine. They haven't had a fully updated board with the strikeouts yet. Like you know, we have most of the pitchers are on here, but also it's not a lot of aces. You got some like second tier guys, so I don't have too much interest in some of them, but I would probably consider taking the over on Severino if you make some more entries. I do like over six and a half strikeouts on Severino, uh, over six Ks on McKenzie looks decent, but I probably like his fantasy score a little bit more. Ashby at only four and a half Ks. Now he's had twelve last game, but sometimes he only gets you like four. He has a couple of starts with only one, but that was you know when he wasn't pitching very deep into games. So that one looks solid, and then. Uh, Bueller's only at five, but his strikeout stuff hasn't really been there this year. We look at the fantasy score. I'm taking a look at some of these uh, targeting pitchers with, against opponents with low totals. So Severino against a very strikeout-heavy Tigers team, which Garrett Cole you know, was had a shot to have a perfect game. He was perfect through five innings last night. McKenzie looks solid at 34 and a half against Baltimore. They strike out a good amount, and then I would probably consider like uh, maybe Zach Wheeler the. Angels been on a big losing streak. Wheeler is starting to look like himself. He didn't have much of a spring training, so that's why he was kind of rusty coming out of the gates. But he's looked like back to his stuff like he was last season when he was flirting with Cy Young, Cy Young Award, and 
Taylor Ward left the game yesterday with a hamstring issue, so he probably won't be in the lineup. So that's just another big bat that's not going to be there. But this, these are the three that I'll probably stick with today. Over 18 outs on Pablo Lopez, under 0.5 runs, Padres, Brewers, and under 0.5 runs, White Sox, and Rays. So that's what I got for you guys. Thank you for watching. Best of luck. Hopefully you guys have a good day, and I'll see you all next time.